Hello everyone, and once again, welcome to Maytech. Today we're going to look at making a variety of different wood stickers. But before we get going, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so, so you can stay updated on all my latest videos. Alright, let's jump into this tutorial. We'll be making these stickers out of a few different types of wood. First, we'll be looking at using some thin wood veneers. Next, we'll look at using some very thin plywood. And then we'll look at using some hardwood thins. So we're going to start with making the veneer stickers first. To do this, you'll of course need some veneer. And like always, I'll have links on where to get all the materials for this video on my blog post if you don't know where to source it yourself. Now, I found that using a veneer with a tight grain works the best for laser engraving. On top here, I have a regular maple veneer. Under it is a curly maple veneer. And below that is some cherry wood veneer. You'll also need some 3M brand double-sided adhesive sheets. Recently, I've also found another product that will save you some time. And that's these veneer sheets that you can buy that have the 3M double-sided adhesive already applied to the back. So if you want to save yourself a little bit of time with a little bit more of an expensive product, you can try these pre-made sheets out. Veneer sheets typically come in these smaller rectangle sizes. Although if you're lucky and search around, you may be able to find them in a 12 by 12 size, the same size as your 3M adhesive sheets. If you don't find them the same size, you will need to cut down your 3M adhesive sheets to fit. This is simply done by placing your veneer sheet down on the 3M adhesive sheet and tracing out a line. Now, to cut the 3M adhesive sheets, I've found that one of these cardstock sliding cutters works the best. You can, of course, just use scissors if that's what you have. To apply the 3M adhesive, you're going to want to very carefully remove the backing on one side of the adhesive sheet. Then, once again being very careful, align the adhesive sheet to the veneer sheet and lightly let it attach to the veneer sheet. You can then start massaging the adhesive onto the veneer sheet if it ripples or bubbles on you like it did to me here, you can simply lift up one side of the adhesive sheet and work out the bubbles or the ripples. Once you have it all on there, make sure to give it a really firm press to make sure the adhesive has stuck to the veneer. And that's it. You're now done making your veneer sticker material. You can of course use most other thin woods to make your wood stickers. Two of the woods I like to use is a thin basswood plywood or some hardwood alder thins. The basswood plywood I use is about 1.5 millimeters thin while the alder is about 2.5 millimeters in thickness. As when selecting the veneers, you'll want to select a wood with a tight grain as this will give you the best detail when you're engraving it. With these thicker woods, one of the things I like to do first is to give them a spray of clear coat. The clear coat will allow you to clean off any of the residue from the lasering process quicker and easier. Of course, you will have to cut your 3M adhesive sheets to size to fit your wood. Like we did with the veneer, Simply put your wood down on the sheets and trace them out onto the sheet. After you have them traced, go ahead and cut them to size. Once you have them cut to size, you can now go ahead and apply them to the back of your wood. Once again, you'll want to be careful while doing this. 
working out any creases or bubbles as you work along. With the veneer sheets, I like to attach them to a piece of cardboard. This helps do two things. First, it helps keep the individual veneer stickers in place after you've cut them, so they're not blowing around from the air assist. Second, it keeps the veneer sheet in place as you cut it so it doesn't warp on you. To do this, I use masking tape to attach all the sides of the veneer to the cardboard. Now that we have all the materials made up, let's have a look at the software setup inside Lightburn. We'll start by looking at my setup for the veneer sheets. The first thing you'll notice is that all my stickers have a border around them, which is obviously pretty typical for stickers in general. To create this border in Lightburn, first select the object that you want to border on. Then go ahead and select the offset tool from the toolbar. Enter whatever size you want your border to be in the offset distance box. I'll be using 2.5 millimeters. Once you get the border to the size you like, go over and select it. And you can then change it to whatever color you've selected for your cut. And you'll see that it now changes to a white border around whatever image you're using. With that done, I'm not going to change to the camera view just to see how the images fit onto my veneer sheet. Of course, having a camera is optional, but I do recommend it as they do come in quite handy for doing smaller projects like this. Since everything looks lined up well, we can now go ahead and have a look at the settings I'm using. Note that I will be using an 80 watt CO2 laser, so you'll have to change your settings to fit your machine. For speed, I'll be using 225 millimeters per second, and I'll be having my power set at 11%. I also have my lines per inch set at 300. The cut, I'll have my speed set at 25, my power set at 18, and we'll only be doing one pass. All right, let's go ahead and run this one. Next up, we are going to cut the plywood stickers. As you can see, I have them all lined up here on the plywood ready to cut. My engraving settings for the plywood will be a speed set at 200, a power of 14%, and we'll be engraving these at a line per inch of 300. For the cut settings, I will be cutting at a speed of 16, a power of 50%, and I will only be doing one pass. Last up, we have the alder wood thins here, all set up and ready to go. For these, I'll be engraving at a speed of 200, a power of 14, and at 300 lines per inch. We will cut these at a speed of 16 and at a power of 60 using only one pass. The last step in the sticker making process is to clean off any residue left behind by the lasering process. As you can see here, there's usually some residue left behind. This usually occurs on the edges of your sticker. Of course, if this doesn't bother you, you can just leave it. But there is a quick way to get rid of it, and that's by using rubbing alcohol. We're going to get some of that rubbing alcohol onto a piece of paper towel here. And we are then going to lightly wipe the top of the sticker until the residue is all gone. Once you're done wiping your sticker, you might see it warp a little bit. 
but this warping should go away after the sticker dries. So make sure that your stickers are left out until they are completely dry. So here we have our stickers all completed. I'm really happy with the way these all turned out. I also went ahead off camera and cut out some stickers on some cedar just to show you that you can use just about any type of wood for these. Here's one I did for my knife scale business. So that's it for this video guys. I really hope you liked it. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will get to them as fast as possible. Please like this video if you've enjoyed it and go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you haven't done so already. We'll see you all again next time.